I made it to the international WR competition using this attachment and I'm going to show you how you can use it to win too. But first, like this video and subscribe to the channel. The common theme in WR challenges is to grab an object from the ground, lift it up and move it to another location on the map and drop it there. And many beginners would use two motors in order to handle this task, but the issue is, as WR gets more and more advanced, you need that second motor to do another challenge. And so what I have here is a grab and lift mechanism that only uses one motor. The grabbing component of this attachment is fairly easy to understand. There are two gears, one here and one here, that attach to two arms over here and over here. And as they rotate in opposing directions, they move the arms outward and inward, which will allow you to grab onto an object. Now, this gear over here is controlled by this bell gear here. And when this bell gear rotates, these gears open and close. But what makes it special is that it's also able to lift upward and downward. And that's because this bevel gear is attached to another bevel gear here, which is attached to the motor through this axle over here. So when this black bevel gear is spinning, the arms open and close, like this. But when the arms fully close, this bevel gear can no longer rotate anymore in this direction. And so what happens is that the pull from the motor begins to lift this up. And because it's attached to an object, these arms stay closed and you're able to lift an object like this. And then when you're ready to drop it, you just reverse that motion and it'll come down. And once it's reached its lowest point and the mechanism can't go down anymore, then the arms will begin to open, releasing the object. So here's an example with a small object I made. This is made by two 2x2 two two blocks stacked on top of each other. So hypothetically, your robot could come here, open these arms, close it to attach onto this block, lift it, go somewhere, and then bring the arm back down and open the arms in order to release the object. This is what I used in my WRO 2022 elementary solution, which you can see here. Here's how you build this attachment. First take this black cross piece here and add the cream bevel gear aligned with the center hole of this black piece and then insert a yellow axle through this hole. Make sure you leave a little bit of the axle on the back side. Then take the yellow piece, the three length yellow piece, and add a black peg on the bottom of the black piece here and a blue piece on the top peg of the black piece and then add the yellow um, beam on top and then add the yellow beam on top. Then to attach the L, which will secure the other bevel gear, attach a black peg in the middle of the yellow three beam, and then attach this L like this. To add the black bevel gear, take the gray axle, align it with the third hole of the blue L, and then add a gray stopper, or any stopper, like this to keep the axle in place and prevent the gear from sliding. Then add the black bevel gear like this, aligned with the axle and the, keeping it flush with the um, cream colored bevel gear, and then push the axle through so that these two axles are making contact with each other like this. That way they don't move and the mechanism stays sturdy. Now flip the entire thing over so that it's like this. Now once you flipped it over, the next thing you need to do is add this purple piece. And to do this, you're going to align the second hole with the axle here, and add a black peg over here in the first hole. So it'll look like this, and take it out, and like this when you put it in. And then you just align it with this hole here on the black thing. Now before you insert it, make sure you take the gray closed axle and put it into the last hole, and then attach it on. like that. Then to attach the gears, attach the first gear to the yellow um, axle over here, like this, and the second one to the gray axle here. And these two gears should be aligned and they should be able to freely rotate and you should also be able to rotate it by moving this axle here as well. Now to add the arms, what you need to do is you need to take these gray pieces and put one each on the axles here, 
and if these don't align, like if they're not both straight, what you can do is you can slip the gray gear out, uh, the gear attached to the gray axle, and then push it back in so that they're now both straight and aligned. And then I'm just going to slip these axles in, which will be the axles for the arms, but if you have another arm in mind, you can also use that. And then I'm just going to add my rubber grips uh, onto each axle. I'm going to put two each so that I get a complete grip on the object that I decided to hold, which was a small 2x2 two two block. But if you have another object, you may want to adjust the dimensions of whatever you're using to pick up your things. This is what the completed design looks like, and as you can see, it's fully functional. If you want to see more resources like this, visit the website robotexfusion.org, which is linked in the description. You can also click on this video to learn more strategies to win WRO competitions.